he blessed them, saying, be what? Fruitful. Multiply. Fill the earth. And what? Subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And I told us the word blessing means three things. Number one, it means to praise. Of course, that's now your attribute to God. Okay? To praise God. The second one is to invoke a blessing. And that's where it can be tricky when it comes to the invocation. Because when you are invoking, you are dealing with spirits. You're dealing with spirits. You're dealing with dimensions. You're dealing with realm that is beyond your realm. Because to invoke means to cause something from another realm to bring about a change. And I told you, uh, the word invoke, a synonym of that word is to conjure. Conjuration. You're dealing with enchantments, both verba and non verba. You are saying something, you are calling reinforcements beyond your ability to bring about a change, to establish a pattern that cannot be broken except by something higher and greater than, than spirit. There are different kinds of spirits, brothers and sisters. I said there are different kinds of spirits. The Bible talks about the spirit of infirmity. That's the specialty of that spirit. But there are all kinds of spirits. And over the years, men have dived into some mysticism or spiritism. And they are able to access spiritual codings. And some of these spiritual codings were documented. Remember the Bible talks about how in the book of Acts, how that the magician brought their books and burnt them in Ephesus. What do you think those books contain? Codings, ancient codings. Ancient codings. Enchantments, they call them magical arts. They are able to conjure spirits to carry out some things, to establish a pattern that someone cannot remove themselves.